typically when most glass blowers are usually doing, you know, building condensers and so forth. You're using a flame like that, or a lot of guys like sometimes like that. There you go. So that first flame was about 10 liters a minute, and this one's about 18. Okay. So if, if you go to an annealing flame, which uh, I, I think it's not going to use. So really, um, a small system and two of these units will, will handle a CC very well. And yeah. in, in your heat, I can explain this to people, to your heat is really coming out of your gas. I've noticed that you have two that, and we don't know why this is, because I'm not an artistic glass blower, but they just crank up the oxygen so high it seems that they're cooling their flame. Cooling the flame, yeah. That's almost 38 liters a minute. Yeah. So unless you worked at that rate all day long, you really wouldn't need more than a small system with, let's say, two of these concentrators producing 20. Because you've got 20, but you've got maybe 1,000, 1,500 liters in the tank. So you've got the buffer. If you want to, you know, if you're, if you're uh, you know, the, the system basically kicks on at 100 PSI. And then if you're exceeding that rate, if you're, if you're going through 30 liters a minute, the machines are pumping in 20, and you're going through 30, so you've got a deficit of 10 divided by what you have in the tank. That right there is 50 liters a minute. That's as much as I'm But you'd never run that all day either, I right? No. Yeah. <laughs> 